Good morning and a very happy Thursday to you. As we take a peek at our temperatures right now, wind coming from the north at 5 miles per hour. Most communities are in the 50s at this hour. 50 degrees at Murphy, 52 in Athens, Cleveland, 61 though in Chattanooga. Scottsboro is going to be our mildest location right now at 63 degrees. But really overall, whether you're in the 50s, the low 60s, it's comfortable. It's refreshing outside. So again, for the next couple hours, you might at least want a light jacket with you. We're going to kind of hold steady upper 50s to low 60s through about 9 a.m. and then by 10 o'clock at 68 degrees. From there it rises up through the 70s and just gets to the low 80s. So highs across our entire area today, upper 70s to low 80s. Some spots are only going to top out in the 70s. You do get that plentiful sunshine. Once again, it will be a stunning day outside. Just a few clouds here and there and that wind from the north northeast at five miles per hour. Here's what we love to see. We had it yesterday. We're getting it again today. That muggy meter clearly in the comfortable category. Those dew points only in the 50s. That's what brings us that really nice air outside paired with the sunshine and those warm conditions for the afternoon. So we'll continue with the good news and let you know that the air quality is good for today. Now some not so good news or for a lot of you maybe bad news is mold and pollen counts. Both of them are going to be in the very high category. So do be aware of that if you do suffer from any kind of allergies. From that allergy report, I want to show you our clouds and radar. You can see some clouds across North Georgia at this time. Everywhere else generally though you have clear skies. Guys, here's the big picture. We still have the stationary front well to the south of us along the Gulf coastline. Denser clouds there, some storms, southern portions of Louisiana. You could also see a couple of these storm complexes in the central plain states. Those are really not going to affect our weather here locally. What we have very clear, quiet conditions in the Tennessee Valley, and it's going to stay that way as we progress through your Thursday. So again, plentiful sunshine today, activity to the south of us, activity to the west of us, and we're all smiling here in the Tennessee Valley. Just a few clouds here and there for tomorrow morning. Once again, pretty comfortable temperatures will be very similar to what we have outside right now. So a lot of spots are going to be in the 50s tomorrow morning. And again, you're going to get plentiful sunshine for your day on Friday. Just a few clouds here and there. Check this out. This is Friday evening at about 650. It's going to look great for your Friday night dinner plans, those backyard barbecues, heading out to nightfall, whatever it may be. A wonderful start to the weekend. Now, by the time that Saturday rolls around, we'll start to see some additional clouds push into our area associated with this low pressure system and warm front. That's also going to bring up more of that wind and moisture from the south. So starting on Saturday, our humidity will gradually begin to rise and bringing with it a chance at about 20% for a couple of isolated showers. But notice it's really as that cold front approaches, now we're onto Sunday that we see a little bit more of that green showing up on the map. So about a 40% chance for some scattered showers and storms. This is now Sunday afternoon and that's going to go into your Sunday evening as well. So I would say Sunday it's not a complete washout. Again, it will be scattered activity, but overall rain chances a little bit greater on Sunday than what they'll be on Saturday. So 82 for your high today, abundant sunshine, just really gorgeous weather. That wind from the north northeast at five miles per hour. Tonight 57 mostly clear. It's going to be a lovely night. That light north wind and then for tomorrow 85 mostly sunny great again wind from the southeast at about five miles per hour but that southerly breeze really starts to pick up Saturday and Sunday as we see that humidity ticking up and then return to those scattered shower and storm chances will go into next week as well.